hey guys welcome back to my channel ug motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance then don't forget to check out my udemy courses all links are available in the description and you can join my youtube membership motion pro which is just for 59 rupees you'll get access to more advanced after effect tutorials tutorials, project files, blender tutorials, cinema 4D tutorials and much more and it will be a support for my channel as well. And if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and don't forget to hit that like button. And without wasting any much more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation. Just like we always do. Width is 1920 and height going to be 180. Frame rate is 30. Duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title section. Then I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to type my text motion over here and I'm going to choose black color and if you want you can check it out some other fonts as well. I'm gonna choose this Colvetic and let's in make this value like that. Then select this font, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this. Okay, if you want then you can change this font according to your needs. Okay, I'm going to keep it something like this and let's try to remove this uh, tracking like that. Now. I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to change the color of this one to red one because this is going to be my reference layer. So let's select this text and hit Ctrl D and this time I'm going to choose black color. And I'm going to remove this all stuff and let's delete this. We need this M only. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Press V and let's try to bring this M properly on this layer. Hit Ctrl D, move this over here and change this text to O. Then select your selection tool and try to adjust it. Then hit Ctrl D, move this over here. Hit Ctrl T for the text tool. Then type T, select your selection tool and move this over here. Again hit Ctrl D, let's change this text to I. Select this and let's try to move this over here. Then hit Ctrl D, move this over here, change this text to O. Select your selection tool and let's try to bring this over here. Hit Ctrl D, change this text to N. Select this and let's try to move this over here. And let's make this value fit. Now I am going to delete this layer because we don't need that. Now what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to animate this and this layers first. So let's select this and this. Let's bring them at the top and press p for position select this to right click and choose separate dimension now what i can do is that i'm going to animate this first so let's create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y zoom in let's go somewhere around 1.10 frames and create one keyframe at x and y then in middle or is, let's go at the start select this and let's move this over here like that then in the middle, I'm going to create one keyframe at Y. Then somewhere around 10, I'm going to bring this value somewhere around over here like that. Then at this point, again, I'm going to bring this value somewhere around over here like this. Don't create any position on X. Then select this Y position, hit F9, go to the graph editor and just like our all other tutorials, uh, let's zoom in and first of all right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this graph hold shift move this handle over here this handle over here move select this move this handle over here select this move this portion over here select this move this over here and this over here select this move this portion over here and this portion over here so if you see this now we will get this kind of bounciness then press R for rotation to create one keyframe. Hit U. Go to the 
end frame and let's make this value two rotation hit ok so what will happen that we are gonna get this kind of animation then what i'm gonna do i'm going to select this layer and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll hit u over here so we can see those uh, keyframes and let's try to bring this somewhere around over here like that and with the help of open square bracket i'm going to move this over here and i'm simply going to select this uh, x position over here and let's go at the end over here at the end all this o is also coming over here now i need to move this at this point so what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to select this uh, y position keyframes which are at the end and let's delete this bring this x rotation keyframe over here i mean rotation keyframe over here and i'm going to choose only one complete rotation okay let's delete this and let's go over here and change this value to one only and select this x keyframe over here now if you see over here what we have we have this animation now and we have this animation now so at this point what i'm gonna do i'm going to go over here and i'll move x position at this point which is over here let's select this and change this color to red and let's try to adjust it properly and then at this point i'm going to try to bring this x position of this one to at this o so now if i'm going to see this animation i'll get this and then like this and i will delete this layer so now if you see over here we have this and then we have this okay so it's like after this we are getting this now let's select this m over here we will try to animate this m let's select this o this animation is done so we will lock this layer i'm going to select this m and press alt square i mean alt not alt but open square bracket press p for position and i want uh, it should come from the top so let's try to do it uh, create one keyframe over here then go somewhere around create another keyframe again go few frame forward create another keyframe and in middle i'm going to bring this a little bit upward then go to the start and let's try to bring this upward over here then select those keyframe and let's hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here zoom in select this by holding shift move this over here and this over here zoom in select this hold shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here okay so we will get this kind of look that it's coming from the top so now we have created these two animations for this o and this o like that then we need any something that should reveal this uh, t as well so what i'm gonna do over here is that i need some strokes that should reveal this t so i'm going to create one app paint tool and from here to here i'm going to create one stroke and initially let's change the color of the stroke to red and i don't want any fill so let's delete this fill select the shape layer and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and uh, press v and let's try to bring this somewhere at the center of the uppermost portion and let's increase the stroke width somewhere around like that then select this and press ctrl alt home then hit ctrl d to duplicate it press r for rotation and let's rotate it on 90 degree like that and let's try to bring this over here and again increase the stroke width size of this one okay and let's make this fit okay let's make try to make this fit select both of these layers and press ctrl alt home to align their anchor point at the center now uh, it sh this animation should get revealed somewhere around at this point so let's bring this over here and press s for scaling option or instead of that what we can do is that we can add trim path to this so go to the add trim path let's go to the trim path let's create uh, one keyframe at the start over here and one keyframe at the end let's make this end value zero initially let's go somewhere around three seconds let's make this both value 100 as well as this value 100 select this start frame and let's try to bring this over here then select those keyframes and let's hit f9 to easy ease those keyframe go to the graph select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like that so we will get something like that then i am going to select this trim path hit ctrl c select this layer and hit ctrl v 
okay like that hit u and let's bring this animation a little bit over here like that okay now i am going to select these layers and i am going to change the color of this one to black okay so what will happen when this is gonna get covered with this i at this point i want this t should get revealed so i am going to move this t somewhere around at this point so if you see this animation over here we will get this and then we will get this okay so this is done this is done then only thing remaining is this i over here and this n so let's try to animate this n first at this point when this is crossing this i want this n should come from the top so okay so somewhere around at this point i'll bring this n over here press p to create one keyframe go few frame forward somewhere around at this point over here i want this end should come at the bottom then go to the start and initially let's move this end upper portion to this one then select this keyframe hit f9 go to the graph and let's try to bring this over here like that so it should come downward like this and there should be some uh, mask thing over here so for that i'm going to select rectangle and choose any fill and let's delete the stroke and then from here to here create one rectangle like that go over here hit enter and let's call it as mask press f4 press f4 and choose alpha mask like that and let's move this over here the help of open square bracket so it should look like that it's coming from this line let's select this and let's try to bring this a little bit downward like that okay so we'll get something like this over here now i'm going to select these two layers over here let's go to the start and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as stroke animations and hit ok and hold alt open square bracket to trim up to this then i'm going to hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll hit page down button two to three times and move this handle over here right click reveal reveal layer in source project hit ctrl d to duplicate it and by holding alt i am going to replace it then go inside this select this stroke layers and let's change the color of this one to white and change the stroke width to little bit downward like that somewhere around 8 maybe okay so what will happen that we are gonna get this as well as this stroke lines over here okay like that and then somewhere around at this point over here there should be revelation of i so let's select this i press y for pen behind tool and let's try to bring this anchor point downward like that and how to reveal this i somewhere around at this point when entire animation is done i'm going to bring this over here press s unlink this create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe and at the start i'm going to make this value zero select this keyframe and let's hit f9 then go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift and move this handle over here and this handle over here like that so we'll get something like this so if you see this animation now we are gonna get something like that okay if you want you can move this eye over here and you can change this keyframe totally up to this okay like that so first we'll get this animations and then this now let's select all of this and press f4 select all of them and enable motion blur even go inside the stroke animations and make sure to enable their motion blurs okay like that so if you see this now first we'll get this and then we are gonna get this animations okay like that now uh, hit u to uh, you know to reveal this select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose like that okay now when this animation is done somewhere around at this point i'll press p to create one keyframe go few frame forward up to five seconds and let's try to bring this totally downward like that select those keyframes and let's hit f9 go to the graph select this graph shift hold and move this handle over here 
like that now there should be something that should uh, you know cover this stuff so let's select this rectangle let's delete this uh, stroke and from here to here i'm going to create this mask select this and let's move this upward like that then select this and press f4 and choose uh, alpha inverted mask okay so it will be gone at this point and then over here i'm going to hit n so if you see this animation now we will get something like that but what i want is that i don't want this kind of error over here so what i'm going to do i'll go to the start i'm going to select this layer and i'm going to press ctrl shift d to split this layer and let's bring this at the bottom and over here i'm going to reveal no tire tracks and try to bring this at the top okay over here or uh, i think i did mistake over here let's hit ctrl set over here what we can do hit u select this and hit ctrl shift d to split this layer let's bring this downwards and this bottom layer which is this one let's remove this mask and try to bring this at the top and now if you see this animation we will get something like this and this animation is gone and again we will get this animation from the start and you can select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and you can call it as animation and hit ok hit ctrl d press s unlink this and you can make this minus 100 then press p for position and try to bring this downwards and we have to check it out where this is ending properly okay like that then press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity like that go over here choose rectangle tool and let's uh, create some mask like this over here and increase the mask feathers like this okay so we will get this kind of a reflection kind of a illusion like over here and this is how we will get this animation you can bring this a little bit upward like that okay and then press ctrl y to create one solid background and try to bring this downwards like this okay over here then another thing you can do over here is that uh, you know that our animation is ending at this point then select all of these layers press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation and hit ok go inside this in work area simply right click and choose trim comp to work area go to the main animation right click time time enable remapping and before the last keyframe i'll go one frame backward create another keyframe and i'll delete the last keyframe delete then alt click on the stopwatch and let's apply loop out expression over there and deselect and then i'm going to reduce increase this duration like that and up to 10 frames i don't want anything so hit page down and hit n over here so i'll get this animation up to this and this is how at the end as well my animation is going to be in the form of loop then i'm going to right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and double click to apply and let's swap this color then go to the start initially i'm going to bring this over here press p for position to create one keyframe go over here and let's try to bring this from here to here like that and if you see this animation now i'm gonna get this animation like that in the form of loop like this okay so as you guys can see this is how we can create this kind of creative text animation inside of after effects Thank you.